this is a uterine balloon tamponade it is every second matters uterine balloon tamponade the tamponade is used when we have um, uncontrolled bleeding after delivery and the mother needs help so i'll briefly show you how to assemble the uterine balloon tamponade in this ziploc bag we have a few components of the balloon tamponade we have a foley catheter which has two parts covered with a lower lock there are two valves then we have a 60 mil syringe we have a pair of condom and we have o-rings so once we have a diagnosed postpartum hemorrhage due to uterine atony then we are going to insert the uterine balloon tamponade first you will put on your gloves or change your gloves depending on what you are doing then pull out the catheter Our Foley catheter is silicone because of um, the flow of blood we are going to go against. We need a stiff uh, catheter. That's why we're using a silicone catheter. Pick a piece of condom from the rough edge. Tear it out. roll it from the tip of the catheter by holding with your other finger roll it down then pull it halfway out to give it space using the two o-rings We will anchor the condom onto the catheter. Pass it round at the neck of the condom. Six to seven rounds is enough or pass it round until you can't uh, pass it anymore. The balloon tamponade is ready for insertion into the uterus. Remember, we are going to insert it in an empty uterus and inflate with water. Assuming this is our uterus, we will use the syringe to inflate the balloon. Expel air as much as you can. Through the bigger valve, there is a lure lock fitting in very well to the syringe. Continue with this procedure. This will continue until you meet a resistance. Once the uterus is full, you will meet a resistance as you push your water in. So once you meet a resistance, you will stop, then secure the catheter on the thigh of the mother and leave it in. Leave it in for a minimum of 6 hours, a maximum of 24 hours as you observe the mother. The inflated balloon will apply pressure on the bleeding blood vessels in the uterus. And with that given period of time, uh, the blood vessels will constrict and the bleeding will stop. Most of the time, within the first 10 to 20 minutes, there's a big 
different from the blood flow from the uterus. Continue observing the mother, observe the bleeding, observe the vital signs, and after six hours, if you're convinced that the bleeding has completely stopped, then you start removing the balloon tamponade. So for removal, we'll do the reverse. So in, in, a, in the ESM UBT pack, we have a small guide that can help you uh, insert the balloon tamponade and remove. So there are clear instructions on how to insert, how to observe and remove on both ends. And again, if bleeding continues, you are allowed to refer the patient as shown in the below picture. Refer the patient to the next facility. So referral will really depend on what, uh, on uh, the condition of the mother. Maybe you are referring because she needs transfusion and your facility does not transfuse 